All right, we're going to check out that uh, GCV160 snapper mower. Let's see if we can adjust the valves on these things. I listened to the comments, and we're going to try that and see if we can get this thing to run. If you guys are interested, stay tuned. We're going to start turning some wrenches on it. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Let me introduce myself. My name is John and my friends call me Turning Wrenches 85 here. I uh, hope everybody's having a good one so far today. Today is uh, June 1st. You know, we're almost halfway through the the year so far here. And, um, you know, I've been doing pretty good. Uh, mower sales, uh, except for one. Uh, that'll be, I'll, I'll explain that one a little bit later. Uh on another video or something about what happened with that issue but hopefully enough I'll resell them over again but anyway um, today's video is going to be uh, working on that snapper with the GCV 160 engine we're gonna I've been reading the comments and you guys have been telling me to check the valves on here because the valves could be out of spec so we're gonna do that today so there's the mower right there I got it out here we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna get it up on that jack stand Raise it up, take the spark plug off, and we're going to get it at the top dead center, and we're going to try to, on the compression stroke, and we're going to see if we can get this thing to run. It might have to go through the carburetor, too, but uh, we'll try to check the valves first, and then we'll go from there. But uh, anyway, here's what you're going to need for tools of choice if you're going to do this here. All we're going to need is, we're going to probably going to have to use a, you know, a regular crescent wrench because... Uh, Got one of the, it's got a, a square end on it, so it'll be good to catch that on there to hold it. And then, of course, you're going to need a 9mm uh, wrench there because it's going to be easy to get a hold of. Your 13 16 socket there because it's a spark plug. And this is the specs on the, the engine there. Intake is 0.6 on the valve latch, and exhaust is 0.8. So, uh, wrote it down right there so uh let me go ahead and get it up on the jack stand i kind of already uh, got the valve cover pried off i just haven't done anything yet other than that because it's silicone on so we're gonna have to silicone it back on there so uh without further ado let's start turning some wrenches let's get this uh the valve lash fixed on this mower okay let's get this valve cover off the 10 mil there like I said I already kind of loosened it up prior to this I just haven't done anything with it yet so let's get it off let's get it off of there and then we'll check the check this thing out shall we Maybe I tighten them back up. I just realized something. I'm in the shade. I'm shading you guys off. bolts off of here real quick And this thing is oily messed. We can't get over how the deck is so covered up with full of oil. I mean, I'm glad that, I mean, in a way, I'm glad, glad the deck is kind of broke on it because I don't really want to clean it. <laughs> I, I, I know it's pretty bad to say that, but I'm glad I don't want, because uh, I, I don't want to really clean it if I don't have to. Oh, 
honestly. Uh, but these things are usually siliconed on. I think this one was. So let's get this off here real quick. Alright. Got some nasty oil in there. Alright, let me see. I got my screwdriver here. We're going to check the the valve lash. Oh, wait a minute. i got to get the spark plug off. Either it's been the spark plug off than it was those bolts. Anyway. I got the brake tied back. Let's check it here where we're at. So it's traveling up. Okay, well maybe I got that far to go on it. Okay, so it's right there. So let's check it. And those things are tight. Supposed to be six and eight. Eight for the exhaust, six for the intake. And I don't even see. These things could be out of spec, boys. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we might have a problem. Let's see. Let's double check our, our work. The exhaust is right there on the right, so we're looking at eight and six. Okay. I see a problem already because that's really tight. So we could have our first problem right here. So let's see if we can get this loose. We might have to turn this out. Just a smidge. I'm going to try not to get in the, the way. Got it on the compression stroke. There we go. Good lord, I had to take that quite a bit. Let's get my filler gauge in here if I can. You want a little bit of drag. Okay, I'm going to go lock that down. Right there. I think we got it. And that one, let me get this. That's the, the weird part of this. You got to... Okay. See how it... Okay, I can live with that. Now we got to work on this exhaust, which is 8. So let's get the 8 out. Here's the eight. And I can barely get, I can't even get that in there. Okay, so, let me break this loose. That would be too bad. I'm gonna have to turn this out quite a bit, it looks like. I just want a little bit of drag. Oh, good lord, I'm going to have to turn that out quite a bit. Let's see. Okay, there we go. But you want a little bit of drag. Oh, 
on it. So I'm trying to feel when it's going to bite on it. Okay, that's a little too tight. Let's pull it back a little bit. I think I'll be okay with it right there. Let's go ahead and lock it down. And then we'll check it again. Wrench right there. Put the little crescent wrench there. It's got a little square into it. That's why I'm using the crescent wrench to do this. Let's double check our work. Okay, I can live with that. A little bit of drag, but you can still get the feeler gauge, an eight feeler gauge in there to do that. So, all right. Uh, let's try it and see what we got, can do, okay? So, let me go put this valve cover back on. I know it's probably going to make a mess, but we just want to see if it runs. So, let me go put the valve cover back on. I'll put you guys back down. And uh, we'll try it out there and see if that works. So I'll bring you guys back. I think before we even try to see if it'll pop off, let's do a compression test on it. I don't think I ever did one on this thing. So let's go ahead and uh, do one now on it. So let's see. Get this in here. Yeah, let's get, let's check the compression on this thing and see if it's if it, I don't even think I remember doing one. I was looking back on my vi previous video on this. I think I ever did one on it. So let's uh give it a try. This is the one that Roger McDonald sent me. There, he uh, donated to the channel with that. I appreciate it very much. There, Mr. Roger. So I already got it tied back. So let's. Let's see. I'm going to get you guys right here. Get you guys down there. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, make it better there. We'll take it, check it, check it out. We'll see what it, I'll pull it a few times and we'll see if we get any compression out of it. So, here we go. And probably got a compression release too, so we're probably fighting that as well. And um, we're barely making 50. I'll try it again, but that doesn't sound good. Might not even, might even not even be using this thing for anything. Shoot, it's probably not got, got enough compression to do anything, but I can feel compression on it. the same it's not even barely 50 oh boy well let's just try it I mean what oh well let's just give it a try and see where we go with it How do you like that? I got stuck. <laughs> Alright, let me get this set up. And uh, we'll try to see if we can get it to uh, do anything anyway with some carburetor spray. So I'll bring you guys back. Okay, let's try it out now. I got everything back together. Put the spark plug on there. Uh, we'll just give it a try and just see what it does. I'm going to go ahead and take this cover off here. Hook the spark plug boot back up. And I don't choke. Might still have to go through the carburetor. I get that through there into the intake. 
I'm going to pull the, th the governor forward so I can do that. Okay. Uh, let's see what it does. Give it a try. Let's see what it does. It wants to. I know somebody told, I know uh, D, D Fields told me maybe the timing could be off. Could be a possibility. Too. We can always check that as well. I can see. Smoky smoke. Well, let's go down to the flywheel and we'll check and see maybe the key's sheared. Okay, let's take the flywheel off. Oh, let's check the flywheel. Let's take the recoil cover off. It's 10 millimeter nuts. Oh, this one's got the famous back out the, the stud. Oh, I hate that one. Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. Yeah, I have to fix that. Oh well, we'll work. cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, we need to get to this nut. Let's see what size it is. Probably a metric. So let's see what we're looking at here. It's probably a 19. That looks like a 19. I think it is that. That's like. Let's try 18 first, no. 19, perfect fit. Okay, that was right, 19. I figured probably metric. All right, well, let's take this off of here. Impact. Okay, let's see. Does this come off of there? Um, okay. Well, I'm already going to tell you guys right now, I'm going to stay out of the light. I'm going to get you guys off the, the tripod. You guys over here. Um, it's still intact. It looks like, I don't think it's sheared. It looks like it's in there. This is not starting. Hmm. I think I might go through that carburetor and see what's going on with it. Maybe it'll be better have a better shot. 
Huh. Interesting. Yeah, it don't look like it's broke. Looks like it's still on there. Alright. Uh, let me check some other things out real quick and see what I find. Alright, I let this soup is still boiling, so let's check, uh, let's check this real quick. I got a two-jaw puller. I'm going to try to impact it off with it and, uh, see if we can get this to check and see what's going on with it. Puller. See, it looks like it's even though. I don't want to really mushroom this thing out if I don't have. I can't avoid not to. Okay, I guess we're not getting it off. Okay, well, it was a shot. I'm not going to try to mushroom it out. Although I wanted to see if it was sheer, but it don't look like it is. Same puller there, puller there. Let me try something different. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. There's a thing that says puller here, puller there. Maybe I'm not pulling it in the right spot. There's probably a joke there somewhere. My jaw pullers are not worth a, especially the two jaw ones are not working for what I need it for, shoot. I was going to try to get this off, but I guess not. Puller there, puller there, but my puller is not going to work on this one. Okay, maybe if I get that off some way, we'll figure it out. But anyway, let's check the carburetor first, see what's going on with that. Alright, let's get this. I'm just going to check the carburetor on here. Maybe we're just having an issue where it's got to have the carburetor, carburetor to run. So, i got to clean all this out anyway. So, get that one bolt out. Get that one out. PVC line wasn't even hooked up to it. Oh boy. Here's your gasket. This is the auto choke version of this. This thing's nasty. Like seriously nasty. Ugh. Okay. Get that off of there. Get this gasket off without tearing it. Okay, well, it tore a little bit, but not too bad. The PVC line won't even hooked up to this. Now that makes me kind of worried now that I saw that. Okay. 
thing is a grimy, good lord. Get the tension spring off of here first. Good Lord. Uh, let's take it to the work, my work area, and we'll take a look at it and see what we can find out on this thing. Maybe we can get this thing to run after all. That thing's nasty. All right, let's start working on this. I'm going to give it a bath first. Get all this schmoo off of here. I just now, like I said, I just now noticed that PVC line wasn't even hooked up to it. Boy, this thing was nasty. to have my my brake parts cleaner all right I'll take my impact and close that off well that's a good sign there's no uh, there's no fuzz in there get my screwdriver here The gasket's still on there. Get that off of there real quick so I don't get that in, in, in the way of anything. It's not bad in there. Look, it's not bad in there. Bring you guys in the shade so you guys are not in the sunlight too much. Huh. Well, I wonder why it's not starting. Maybe go through the ultrasonic cleaner anyway on it. It doesn't look that bad in here. See? It doesn't look that bad in there. That's very interesting. That it won't try to crank up, but it could be low on compression. I'm gonna get that main jet out of there though. I think I might run it through my ultrasonic cleaner anyway, just to fight myself. And, um, but I wanna get that main jet out. So let me go get that, uh, let me go get my screwdriver to get that main jet out real quick. Alright, I got, uh, oh, guys. Bring you guys over there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this main jet out real quick. See if it'll come out. We got one of these flat, flat screwdrivers. Actually, it didn't come out too. It didn't even fight me. That's kind of odd. that. Let's push the emulsion tube out if we can get it out. Get that out of the way. Okay. The emulsion tube don't look that bad either. I 
Let's see though. No, oh, no restrictions. How about the main jet? No, well, main jet looks good too. One thing you gotta worry about is this is the where the oh, this is where the idle oh it's the JIS screw. The one with the dot on it. The Japanese industrial screw. That was on there pretty good, wasn't it? Recognize Bruce's shop talking about that one, but this is where your idle circuit is, too. You want to make sure that's cleaned out. It looks like it is. It's coming through out that hole and coming out that hole. But I'm going to run it through the ultrasonic cleaner anyway, even though I'm doing all this, just to get it cleaned out. I'll bring you guys back and we'll set this up. I'm going to get myself all cleaned up here. So, when you guys br bring you guys back, we're going to reassemble this, uh, this, uh, this carburetor out here. And, uh, I mean, it don't look that bad, but I'm going to run it through there anyway. Get all that stuff out of there and we'll run compressed air through there and then we'll clean it out. But, like I said, the main jets are you know, pretty clear through there. I don't know if you guys can see. So, well, I'll run through all that. So, I'm going to run through my ultrasonic cleaner and I'll bring you guys back in a bit. It'll be a little bit for me, but, uh, be a couple seconds for you guys. All right, let's put this carburetor together. Now I cleaned it all out, blew it out with my air compressor. So we should have no issues with everything. So let's go ahead and get the floating needle on here. And we'll double check it and make sure that the float is, is doing what it's supposed to be doing. I had to clean out my tray. So let's check it real quick. Okay, so it's working. So let's put the let's put the emulsion tube back in. We'll put the uh, main jet back in. I got a flat screw screwdriver to fits right in here to tighten that down. You don't need to put it on there too tight. You just need it on there snug there we go right there now let's put this back in here for the idle circuit like I said it's a JIS screw because it's got that little dot on there I remember Bruce's shop mentioning that in one of his videos he was working on a Honda generator but this screwdriver got it off of there so must have been good enough to work on that so all right so all we got to do now put the gasket back on like so and then put this on here like so and then put this on here and bring my 10 millimeter socket There we go. Let's double check, make sure our work is complete. You can hear air. Turn it upside down. No air. So I know it's not perfect, still cleaned, but it looks better than what it did. So let's go ahead and put it back on the uh, Honda over there and uh, see if we can get that to run somehow. Okay, I got some fresh gas I'm going to put in there, and we'll just see. I'm going to put a little bit. I'm not going to put a lot. 
I got the fuel shut off stove off right now. I got the air filter off still, but everything's hooked up like it should. Put a little bit of fuel in here. Like I said, I'm not going to put a lot just in case it doesn't run. And then turn the fuel cap on. Carburetor should be getting fuel right now as we speak. We'll look around and make sure we're not getting no leaks. Okay, I don't see anything at the moment. Let me double check the oil on this one. This one of you got to dip it to check it. It did have oil in there. It was nasty oil. Got oil, but it's not the greatest, but it's something. It's dirty, it needs to be changed out. So, all right, let's double check one more time. I don't see nothing dripping out of the carburetor. So, let's see if I'll try to do anything, okay? So, uh, I got this on here just in case I can snap it off right away. So, uh, here we go. Vice, Derek from Vice Grips Garage said, bring the thunder. Still not starting, huh? You know, I wouldn't be surprised if that P PVC valve that I saw that was off of there and all this oil on here, I wouldn't be surprised that that engine was running like that without it. And I'm going to try one last thing and uh, on this and then I'm going to think I'm going to stop on this one for now. But I'm going to go get my spark tester and see if we got any spark. Alright, I brought you guys out into the carport so that way we can get some shade so we can see if we're getting spark. I thought the last video we did it was. Well, we'll see. I'll pull it. And uh, see if we're getting any. You know what? I think the cable just broke. Oh, the cable broke. Oh, the cable snapped on it. Oh, great. Well, the cable was working. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do this the wrong way. This is not the way I would do it. But,
I don't think that's enough to do anything, but let's just see. Okay, it's not enough to pull it. Alright, let me rig a different way real quick to do this. Okay, I did it the wrong way. I zip tied it, but I do got some wire snippers. So side cutters with me just in case I gotta cut it if we have an issue with the engine. So uh, let's just pull it and see if we got any sparks because since that cable broke now. Well, it says we got sparks. spark but it's just not turning over. When I adjusted the valve, It smokes like it's going to start. Right now, it's not being an easy start uh, Honda mower. You know what, I'm not feeling no compression. It's not really kicking back. I wonder if this thing has no compression. It only have 50 anyway. I don't know guys. I don't think this one's gonna be a, a running mower that I wanted it for. think this has compression. It feels like now we lost it. I don't know. I tried to get... Alright, I'll... We'll just think this thing through. I don't know. I 
my grandmother said they're probably going to make a hill of beans on it because I think this engine's shot now. I went up a little bit, but it's only like 50, 50, about 50, ain't really nothing, I don't know, I probably tried putting two stroke mix in there in the first, previous video, to try to get it to go. That time, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I, th I think I'm done with this one for right now. So I think I'm gonna stop it right here. Okay, guys, we're gonna just end it right here. I think I'm just gonna stop with this mower. I'm gonna work on some other projects. I'll turn the fuel tap off on it. But uh, I believe this engine's shot. It's got less than 50 PSI. And I know a prior video, I tried to put the two-stroke mix in there to kind of help it out. But you see all the debris on here. This thing was probably puking out oil for a long time. And it probably ran low, so low that it don't have enough compression to kick over. Because you can see it, it, it comes out of the carburetor holder, it comes out of the muffler, but it doesn't start up. So I think, uh, I think, it's just, I think the engine's shot, in my opinion. You guys let me know in the comment section below on it. But anyway, I got some other mowers I need to work on. So I'm just going to put this one off to the side. We'll come maybe across it on a later date. But uh, I do need to get the uh, Husqvarna one going again. It's got some issues with it. Um, but I might take the parts off of this one to throw on that one. I was going to keep the cable, but now the cable broke. So that's trash along with the deck. But anyway... I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video today, it wasn't much of a video. Even though we adjusted the valves, but it doesn't look like it helped much. So, But anyway, uh, if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up there. Check me out on Instagram there, TurnerWrenches85. Uh, send me a request uh, to follow, and I'll accept it. If you guys are not, uh, you guys, uh, as long as you guys are not trying to solicit it with me like that like I've been getting but anyway um I think that's it but anyway uh, you know like get like share subscribe subscribe to the channel if you guys like it uh, as of this video I uh, sus surpassed 12,000 subscribers on my channel well not 12,000 1200 subscribers I wish it was 12,000 I have 1,200 subscribers so that's good I never thought the channel would get up that high uh, thanks to you guys there sharing out the videos liking it and putting it out there for YouTube to let them know uh, What I'm doing here But anyway, I'm gonna work on another mower here. So I'm gonna work on that video you guys uh, Check this video out and check out the previous video. I did on this one and then you guys uh, give me your uh, Two cents about it. So anyway like share subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next video. Y'all take care